ভিউয়ার্স ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার শো ইংলিশ ফর ইউ আর টিভি এবং ভয়েস অফ মায়েরিকার যৌথ আয়োজনে স্কুল ভিত্তিক ইংরেজি শিক্ষার এই অনুষ্ঠানে আপনাদের সাথে আছি আমি মাসুক সিদ্দিক মূলত বাংলাদেশের স্কুল পর্যায়ের শিক্ষার্থীদের মাঝে আমেরিকান ইংলিশের চর্চা এবং ব্যবহার এ দুটো বাড়ানোই হচ্ছে আমাদের মূল উদ্দেশ্য এছাড়াও কুইজের মাধ্যমে শিক্ষার্থীদের মেধা ঝালায় সুযোগ তো থাকছেই ইংলিশ ফরিও অনুষ্ঠানে আজকে আমরা চলে এসেছি ঢাকার কাপ্তান বাজারে অবস্থিত নবাবপুর সরকারি উচ্চ বিদ্যালয় যেখানে এক ঝাঁক শিক্ষার্থী রয়েছে আমাদের অপেক্ষায় এছাড়াও আমেরিকান নাগরিক মিস্টার জ্যাকব বার্লিন রয়েছে আমাদের অপেক্ষায় তার কাছে গিয়ে আমরা ক্লাসরুমে শিখব আমেরিকান ইংলিশের চর্চা এবং ব্যবহার নিয়ে বিশদ প্রিয় দর্শক তার আগে আমরা জেনে নেব এই ক্যাম্পাস সম্পর্কে বিস্তারিত এই ক্যাম্পাসের প্রধান শিক্ষকের কাছ থেকে লেটস রে কালু নবপুর সরকার উচ্চ বিদ্যালয় এটি পুরানো ঢাকায় কাপ্তান বাজারে অবস্থিত বিদ্যালয়টি উনিশশো সালে প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয় যখন এটি প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয় তখন এটি প্রিয়নাথ হাই স্কুল অর্থাৎ প্রিয়নাথ বাবু তিনি জমিদার ছিলেন এবং তার প্রতিষ্ঠিত এই স্কুল সেই কারণে সেই সময় প্রিয়নাথ হাই স্কুল হিসাবে এই স্কুলটি প্রতিষ্ঠা পায় উনিশশো সালে এটি জাতীয়করণ হয় এবং জাতীয়করণের সময় এর প্রিয়নাথ হাই স্কুল নামটি পাল্টে নবাবপুর সরকারি উচ্চ বিদ্যালয় হয় বিদ্যালয়টি দ্বিতীয় শ্রেণী থেকে দশম শ্রেণী পর্যন্ত পরিচালিত হয়ে আসছে প্রভাতি অধিবাস শাখায় উভয় শিফটেই এই দুটো শিফটেই দুজন সহকারী প্রধান শিক্ষক পঁচিশ জন পঁচিশ জন পঞ্চাশ জন শিক্ষক রয়েছেন চারজন অফিস দেখাশোনা করার জন্য জন সরকারি বেসরকারি কর্মচারী বিদ্যালয়ের পড়াশোনা তার পাশাপাশি অন্যান্য আরও কিছু সংগঠন আমাদের বিদ্যালয়ে আছে যেমন বিএনসিসি বিএনসিসির একটি সুকৌশল দল এখানে আছে স্কাউট আছে কাপ দল আছে রেড ক্রিসেন্ট দল আছে নো স্কাউট আছে এছাড়া এরা সামাজিক যে অ্যাওয়ারনেস প্রোগ্রামগুলো সেগুলোতে আমাদের ছাত্ররা অংশগ্রহণ করে থাকে সরকার নির্দেশিত বিভিন্ন দিবসগুলো সেই দিবসগুলো নিয়মিত পালন হয়ে থাকে যেমন একুশে ফেব্রুয়ারি ছাব্বিশে মার্চ পনেরোই আগস্ট ষোলোই ডিসেম্বর নববর্ষ সাতই মার্চ আরও যে সকল প্রোগ্রামগুলো আছে সেগুলো আমরা বিদ্যালয়ের শিক্ষার্থীদেরকে নিয়ে সকল শিক্ষক শিক্ষা মণ্ডলে মিলে আমরা এই প্রোগ্রামগুলো নিয়মিত পরিচালিত পরিচালনা করে আসছি বিদ্যালয়ের মূল পুরাতন ভবন একটি যেটি দোতলা পাঁচতলা ভবন আছে অফিস ভবন আছে প্রধান শিক্ষকের বাস ভবন আছে এখানে একটি খেলার মাঠ আছে বিশুদ্ধ পানি আছে পান করবার জন্য বাচ্চাদের টিফিন বানানোর জন্য টিফিন ঘর আছে সরকারিভাবে এটি গ্যাস গ্যাস আছে এবং এখানে টিফিন বানানো হয় বাচ্চারা এখানকার বানানো টিফিন খেয়ে থাকে বিদ্যালয়টি নিরাপত্তার জন্য ছাপান্নটি সিসি ক্যামেরা লাগানো হয়েছে এটি দ্বারা বিদ্যালয়টি সার্বক্ষণিক পরিচালিত হয়ে থাকে আজকের এই আয়োজনে আর টিভি এবং ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকাকে আমার পক্ষ থেকে আমার বিদ্যালয়ের পক্ষ থেকে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি কারণ তারা এসছেন বলে এই ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকা এবং আর টিভির কারণে আমেরিকান ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এবং ব্রিটিশ ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজের যে ডিফারেন্ট সেটি আমাদের শিক্ষার্থী এবং আমরা ভালোভাবে বুঝতে পেরেছি এবং আজকের এই আয়োজন আমার বিদ্যালয়কে আমার শিক্ষার্থীদেরকে এবং আমাদেরকে সমৃদ্ধ করেছে সেই জন্য আমাদের সকলের পক্ষ থেকে আর টিভিকে এবং ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকাকে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি এবং কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাচ্ছি সত্যি অনেক তথ্যমূলক কথাবার্তা বলেছেন আমাদের শ্রদ্ধেয় প্রধান শিক্ষক তারপরে আমরা চলে এসেছি ক্লাসে ক্লাসে অপেক্ষা করছে এক ঝাঁক স্টুডেন্টস কেমন আছো সবাই কতখানি ভালো তোমাদের সাথে সাথে আমরাও ভালো আছি এবং আমরা আজকে ইংলিশ ফরিওয়ের টিম এসেছি তো সাথে আছে মিস্টার জ্যাকব বার্লিন এবং তোমাদের সকলের প্রিয় শিক্ষক মোহাম্মদ ইমরান আলী স্যার আপনি কি আমাদের আজকের এই আয়োজন সম্পর্কে কিছু বলতে চান অফকোর্স অ্যাকচুয়ালি উই আর এনজয়িং আসো এটা আই এম হিয়ার উই আর থ্যাঙ্কফুল টু দ্য অর্গানাইজার্স ফর অ্যারেঞ্জিং সাস রিসোর্সফুল অ্যান্ড ইনফরমেটিভ অ্যান্ড এডুকেটিভ প্রোগ্রাম অ্যান্ড আই থিঙ্ক মাই স্টুডেন্টস উইল বি বেনিফিটেড ইন ডিফারেন্ট ওয়েজ and they will be encouraged to learn american english and i think they will be uh, resourceful for the nations in future thank you very much thank you sir mr jacob berlin are you guys ready to learn some american english yes i can tell you're excited and i'm excited to be teaching you guys let's get started okay students voice of america theke je boi ti dewa hoyeche a to z word book sheti ki tumra shobai pecho যদি পেয়ে থাকো তাহলে আমাকে দেখাও
थैंक यू तर मैं तुम्हारा सबा पे वज अफ अमेरिकार ए टू जेड जो वार्डबुकटी रही है से एवे वज अफ मैरिकार इंगरेजी विभाग तुम्हारे और एक आकर्षण रेखे जेटी हे एक भिडियो चित्र प्रथम से भिडियो चित्रटी देखो तरह से भिडियो चित्र नहीं कथा बोल साथ कथा बोलें मिसेस जैकब बार्ल Hello, Halloween is very popular in the United States. Children trick or treat. They ask people for candy. Children and adults wear costumes and go to parties. In fact, there is a Halloween party tonight. I need my friend Jeannie. Jeannie! Hi. Hi Anna. What do you need? Tonight there is a Halloween party. I love Halloween. Are you going? I might go. I might not go. I don't have a costume. Can you help me dress as a genie? Great idea. I can do a genie trick like read minds. Anna, be careful. Things might go wrong. What could go wrong? Okay. Hey. Look, I'm a genie. <gasps> This is going to be fun. Remember, Anna, be careful. Don't worry, genie. I will. There's a Halloween party tonight. Are you going? I might go. I might not go. Excuse me. Are you really a mind reader? I might be. Okay. Tell me what I'm thinking. Sure. First, what do you do? I study. I'm a junior in college. What do you study? I study journalism. Okay. Wait. You are thinking you will graduate from college in about one year. Well, yeah, that's the plan. I told you, I'm a junior in college. Right. Um, wait. There's more. You are thinking you might get a job writing the news. I might get a job writing the news. I might. That means I might not, and I'm studying really hard. No, 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 no. Uh, no, you will. <laughs> you will get a job writing the news. I will. You. Will I will I think bye happy to help What do you study I study English Can you really read minds I might Today I will ask my girlfriend to marry me Wait you are thinking you might Have a wedding very soon. Might, might. She won't say no, will she? No, no. She will say yes. I will have a wedding, won't I? You will. You will. Thanks. I think. Good luck. This is hard, Jeannie. Jeannie. Anna, what's wrong? I don't want to be a genie for Halloween. I might not go to the party. Of course you will go. I have another costume for you. I'm a rock star. You read my mind. No, you told me you like rock music. Oh. Right. Well, I love it. Have fun, Anna. Thanks, Chini. I am ready for the Halloween party. But I am not going to read minds. I might play some rock music. Or I might not. Till next time. Students, have you understood the video? Yes. ओके, हु अंडरस्टैंड मार्च अखुन शेटी देख बो जे के शब्द चे भालो बुझे थो। I saw that there was a girl um, planning something for Halloween. 
uh, she was trying to do something for that occasion. Uh, first of all, she was trying to read people's mind, but after that, we shouldn't do something which we don't know. Rather, we should do something in which we are expert and we should not do something in which we, don't, we are not expert. We should make ourselves more comfortable and do works which, in which we are expert and make ourselves proud that we are doing the works in which uh, we can help the people. দর্শক সময় হয়ে গেছে ছোট্ট একটি বিজ্ঞাপন বিরতি দেবার কোথাও যাবেন না ইংলিশ ফর ইউ এর সাথেই থাকুন ফিরে এলাম বিজ্ঞাপন বিরতির পর আপনাদেরকে অনেক ধন্যবাদ আমাদের সাথে থাকার জন্য আমরা চলে যাচ্ছি সরাসরি আমাদের মূল আয়োজনে মিস্টার জ্যাকব বার্লিন উড ইউ লাইক টু সে সামথিং ফর দেম Sure. So today we learned about a common holiday in America called Halloween. People dress up in costumes and go to different houses and get candy. So in the video, Jeannie asked her friend, there's a Halloween party tonight. Are you going? Now this is a common phrase that you can use with your friends. I know here in Bangladesh you won't celebrate Halloween, but there are different types of parties. So let's write this on the board. There's, it's the short form. There's, you want to go to a World Cup party? World Cup party tonight. You practice. There's a World Cup party tonight. There's a World Cup party tonight. Good, remember when we're speaking, we don't say there is, we say there's, there's. good. Thanks for inviting me. I might go, I might not go. We don't say there is, we shorten it to theirs. All right, Mashu. Thank you. Students, I have to ask you to ask what you want to do with your mind. This is a clear explanation of Jacob's explanation. So, are you confident about your mind? Yes, sir. ओके एबार् चले जाब परवर्ती भिडियोते परवर्ती तुम्हारे जो अपेक्षा कर वज अफ मेरिकार इंगरेजी विभाग के तैरी और एक भिडियो हेलो हम जन रसल वन इज द लास्ट टाइम यू यूज एन इंटरनेट सर्च इंजिन यू नो लाइक गूगल परहैप्स यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन लार्निंग अमेरिकान इंगलिश यू कूड हाव टाइप इन द फलोईंग इन अ गूगल सर्च लार्न अमेरिकान इंगलिश A complete sentence would have been something like this. I want to learn American English. I want to learn American English. Or, how do I learn American English? You might be asking yourself about the connection between internet searches and pronunciation. The answer comes down to word stress. Americans often stress, or say louder or more forcefully, content words. These are words such as nouns, verbs, adjectives. In our example, how do I learn American English? Note that I stress the words learn American English. These are content words that have the most meaning. What about other words? Pronouns, prepositions, determiners, and so on. These are called function words. Americans generally do not put as much stress on these words. Let's explore some examples. Imagine you are outside on a winter day. You might say, it's cold, it's cold. The stress is on cold. It's a content word. Now consider this statement. She bought a car. She bought a car. The stress is on the content words, bought and car. She bought a car. She bought a car. Word stress can be difficult. But the next time you listen to Americans speak, pay careful attention to content words. These are words that are more likely to be stressed. That's all for today. Keep up the good work. Students, have you understood the second video from Voice of America? Yes, sir. What do you think about it? At first, you tell me. Yeah, I have learned from the video that a man whose name is Russell, he wants to teach us how to speak fluently in American English. He wants to teach us some of some hard work, like how to learn American English with fluent word. And he also give us some suggestion, how can we use American English whenever we go out of home 
whenever we buy some things and another and it's okay thank you mr jacob berlin now it's your turn great so we learned some important information about learning how to speak english fluently you can say something like he's a great player he's a great player which words are the content words and which words are the function words in that sentence great and player are the content words on the other hand he's and a are the in uh, the function words good so which words will we stress or say a little louder which words great and player good great player perfect you can sit down and you'll also remember, you remember, there is becomes there. theirs. He is becomes is. he's. In American English, people do not say he is a great player. No one says that. Everyone says he's a great player. He's a great player. He's a great player. Good, you guys are starting to sound like American English speakers. Thanks. Back to you, Mashu. Proti din amra jokhon kono kaj kori ba kotha boli, shob shomoy ki amra shothik kotha boli ba shob shomoy ki amra shothik kaj kori? Na, kokhonoi na. Majhe majhe amader bhul hoy ebong shei bhul gulo amra dekha jay bar bar repeat o kori. Tokhon ei jinish ti hoye jay common ekta bishoy. Mane jehetu amra bar bari ei ghotona gulo repeat korchi tar mane ekta common scenario dar hocche. Erokom kichu common mistakes amra American English er khetreo kori. American English er khetre e dhoroner common mistake amra kore thaki bibhinno shomoy to ajke mr jacob ekhon amader sathe alochona korbe je e dhoroner charti common mistake amra ki kori please mr jacob great so in bangladesh these are four common mistakes that i hear every day now you guys are making these mistakes but after this lesson i don't want to hear you making these mistakes anymore okay i call these mistakes kaner betha because as an American English teacher, when I hear these mistakes, it hurts my ears. You ready? I'll teach you the first mistake, and it's a very common one. In Bangladesh, everyone knows the phrase, how are you, right? You guys all learned this in kindergarten or primary school. And the answer is, I am fine. So the English is correct. But the reason it hurts my ears is because only this phrase is used. There are no other phrases used. I want to teach you another phrase that is also common in America. In America, people do not only use, how are you? Another common phrase is, how's it going? How's? This is short for, how is? We shorten it to, how's. How's it going? And the answer uh, that in Bangladesh, many people say, I am fine. But in America, no one ever says, I am. No one ever says that in America, informal setting or formal setting. We always say, I'm, I'm, I'm. And then you can fill in the gap. Good, so-so, not so bad, pretty good. But no one ever says, I am good, or we always say, I'm. But if someone asks you the question, how's it going? You can say, I'm good, not so bad, so-so, or you can also say, it's, fill in the gap. It's is short for, it is. Because how's it going, in Bangla that means, kem on to say? So it can be about you, I'm good, or about the class, it's good. So from now on, I don't want to hear you say, how are you? I want to hear you say, how's it going? And I don't want to hear you say, I am. No one says that in America. We say, I'm. I'm. Or you can talk about the situation, like the, the obista, and you can say, it's, it's good, it's not so bad, it's pretty good. Similar to the first, uh, it is correct English, but no one says this in America. My name is, fill in the gap, my name is Jacob. People don't say, my name is Jacob in America. 
Instead, what do they do? We shorten it. When we are speaking, we shorten it to my names. Good. My names, Jacob. This is just for speaking. Formal setting or informal setting? People say, my name's Jacob, or you can also say, I'm Jacob. I'm Jacob. Both are correct for saying your name. Okay, no one says, my name is Jacob. No one says that in America. I don't want to hear you say that. It hurts my ears. Or no one says, I am Jacob. No one says, I am. Everyone says, I'm. I'm. Good. Okay, you ready for the third one? Is the name of my country. What is the name of my country? Yeah. yeah. But in Bangladesh, everyone says Murika. Murika. It's not Murika. My country is not Murika. Instead, my country is America. America. You ready? I am from America. 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 Okay, I don't want to hear you say Murdica. You will forget the A and just say Murdica. It is America. America. The United States of America. Okay, you ready for the last one, the fourth Ghana Beta? Okay, it's also a common mistake. Every day I hear these mistakes, every day. And that is the word school. But in Bangladesh, people say e-school. E-school. But in America, we don't pronounce the E before the S. It's just school. So you can say, I am learning American English in school, in school, you practice with me. In school, in school, in school. Okay, good. I don't want to hear you say e school. I want to hear you say school. Good. I heard the America and I didn't hear the e. That's good. One more time. I am learning American English in school. Good, I like this. That's great, guys. And now you are making these mistakes, but after this lesson, you know how to say these things correctly, right? And prepare for speaking American English fluently. Thanks for paying attention, guys. This, this was fun. Back to you, Mashuk. Ero kum ekhi chhu mistakes niya. Aaj ke kotha bola holo. Tomra e mistakes bolo jodi beshi beshi practice karo, shiti tomade jono hi bhala hobe. Aar tomra jodi aro farder kisu jante chau, shikhetre a to z workbook boye kimba amader scholle voice of America website ti dawa hobe, shiti tomra dekhene be bung shikhan theke aro farder jante parbe. Ebar amra chole jabo conversation e. Ek aapor shathe dialogue bolbo. Nijer moner kotha gulo khule bolbo. Kintu kk bolbo, shiti kintu ami thik korbo na. Shiti thik korbe amader shakole priya shikhok. Sir, who will be the first pair? First pair, Rafid and Iftikhar. Please stand up. Hi, Rasin. How is it going? Uh, I'm going very fine. How about you? I'm fine too. Well, how many hours do you study in a day? I'm glad to know that you're fine. Well, I study about five to six hours a day. Maybe more, maybe less. That's great. I also study about the same as you. When I sit to study, I feel like quite the time is running so fast. Time is truly valuable, isn't it? Time is indeed valuable, my friend. It is always running away, stopping for nobody. We cannot do anything but just use, utilize it properly. Exactly. People who don't utilize time will have to suffer in the future. They may not understand the value of time, but time will not stop for them. Rather, it will run for eternity. To utilize time properly, we must know the value of time because it is never going to come back once it is gone. Those who use time properly will have achieved success in their life. Exactly. If we know the value of time since our childhood, we can have a great future. We must not forget that time management is life management. So we must, if we want to gain success in life, we have to be more conscious about the proper use of time. I can agree with that. Those who use time properly and understand the value of time will achieve success in their life and maybe leave behind something, their legacy, after their demise. You're always. Thank you for your time. I must go now.
You're always welcome. So who's next? Please stand up. Shabir and Shapnil. Hello, Shapnil. Hi, Shapnil. How is it going? It's great. What about you? I am not well at all. Why? What happened to you suddenly? I am very sad because the people around me are not honest. They don't feel bad, even telling lies and also doing bad things. You're right. I also noticed that. It is because they don't know the importance of honesty. Do you know the importance of honesty? Yes. Honesty is the practice of speaking the truth and doing the right work. It is the building block of a person's character. It makes a person successful in life. Yes, you're right. Anything else? Yes. Sometimes the result of truth may not come to our favor. Sometimes the truth may hurt us. But it is better than telling a lie. Because telling a lie leads a person to the path of destruction. You're right. I think an honest person also gains love and respect from the people around him. You're absolutely right. Honesty prevents a man from corruption. If we are honest, people believe us and our relationship with others develop. As a result, when we are in danger, people come forward to help us. I think an honest man also shows good behavior, maintain discipline, and he is punctual. Yes, I think honesty is the light of hope and the ultimate solution for various problems. That's why an English proverb goes, honesty is the best policy. Now I get the point. I think the importance of honesty cannot be described in words. So I think we all should practice to be honest. Yes, you're right. Thank you so much. I am grateful to you. You're most welcome. OK, sit down. Sir, who will be the upcoming pair? Next pair, Shamir and Yamin. Hey, Samir. Hi, Yamin. How's it going? I'm fine. What about you? It's pretty good. What do you know? About traffic jam? I think traffic jam is one of the greatest problems in our country right now. What is the effects of traffic jam? The, it affects on our economy and it hampers our valuable time and hide our development. What is the causes of traffic jam? The causes of traffic jams are many, na mainly narrow roads, unfit vehicles and unprofessional drivers are the mainly reasons of traffic jam. How can we solve this problem? To get rid of these problems, we need to fix our roads, make professional drivers, and implement strict rules by the help of our government. Thank you very much for your kind information. You're welcome. Who will be the fourth pair? Fourth pair, then Shuhag and Rohan. Hello Rohan, how are you? I'm fine, what about you? I'm fine too, what are you doing? Now I'm thinking about cell phone, what important invention it is. We can't do even a single day without it. You're right, I think so. Actually, it has made our life easy and faster. It helps us to do any difficult work so easily. Yeah, yeah, its uses are unlimited. It has reduced uncertainly doubts, just waiting and painful suspense. It made our life easily and comfortable. And it has made our global communication so faster. But it has some serious downsides too. You're right, I agree with you. It causes many incurable diseases like uh, brain tumor, genetic damage, high blood pressure, so on. Nowadays, the children and the teenagers become addicted to it. So how can we get rid from this problem? That's a good question. Look, though we are getting immense benefit to it, so we should use it with care so that we can avoid its demerits. Thanks for your information. You're most welcome. See you later. Same to you. Okay, thank you. Sir, who will be the fifth and final pair? Then uh, Rahat and Shahid is the fifth pair. Hello Rahat, how is it going? It's pretty well. What about you? I am fine too. Nowadays the atmosphere is really enthusiastic. Everyone is talking about Soccer World Cup 2022. No one is even talking about cricket now. Yes, it is a soccer festival. It comes after every four years. It is the 22nd edition of the Soccer World Cup. This time, the Qatar is hosting the World Cup. Why are you looking so dizzy? Last night, I couldn't sleep. Even I couldn't close my eyes because I was so much excited about the match of Argentina versus Poland. And Argentina win the match over Poland by 2-0 and, and secure his place to the round of 16. After the match, we and our friends, yeah, friends make a journey, make a rally rally in our area. Oh, that's why you're looking so unwell. Yes. Didn't you see the last match? Yeah, I see the first half. Then I feel sleepy. That's why I slept. I think the giant Europeans like Germany, France, Portugal, uh, and Spain they, yeah, are the favorite. I think one of them will take the title. Oh, let's see what happens. Yes, let's see. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, students. তাহলে আমাদের সময় হয়ে গেছে আজকের মতো 
বিদায় নেবার বিদায় নিচ্ছি সবার জন্য শুভকামনা সবাই ভালো থাকবে একই সাথে প্রিয় দর্শক আপনাদের জন্য শুভকামনা যারা এতক্ষণ টিভি সেটের সামনে বা কম্পিউটার নিয়ে আমাদের এই প্রোগ্রামটি দেখেছেন প্রিয় দর্শক আগামীতে দেখা হবে অন্য কোনো ক্যাম্পাসে অন্য এক ঝাঁক স্টুডেন্টের সাথে সবাই ভালো থাকবেন সুস্থ থাকবেন বিদায় নিচ্ছি আমি মাসুক সিদ্দিক আল্লাহ হাফেজ